In this video, I will provide you with the framing square positions that you can use to figure out every angle for a gable roof using common roof framing ratios like 8 and 12, 6 and 12. And in our example, we're going to be using a 4 and 12 roof pitch ratio. And that will become obvious once I break out the framing square. But the first thing I want to do is provide you with the level and plumb cut angles. So let's go ahead and break out our trusty level and this right here is going to represent a plumb cut. You will hear that in a variety of different videos. Any cut that is vertical like this one right here is going to be a plumb cut. And you guessed it, any cut running horizontal or like this one right here is going to be referred to as a level cut. And to figure out the angles for those cuts on our roof rafter, we're simply going to line the framing square up with the edge of the roof rafter with the 12 inch mark on one side and the 4 inch mark on the other side. And if I was going to use a 6 and 12 roof ratio, I would leave the 12 alone and move the framing square to where the 6 would be positioned at the edge of the roof rafter instead of the 4. So basically any vertical measurement or horizontal measurement after the roof rafter has been installed will be able to be created by using this example here including the fascia board plumb cut angle. Again, we're going to be lining up our 4 and 12 measurements on our framing square. And we don't have to use the inside of the framing square. We can use the outside of the framing square also. And we can even reposition the framing square and sometimes even flip the framing square over to lay out other angles also. And you can see here where this position is going to work better than this position here for the plumb cut angle at the top of the roof rafter. So again, we're just lining up the four and the 12 here and flipping the framing square over. And we can do the same for our gable studs. The top angle again is going to be created by lining up the 4 inch and the 12 inch measurements on the framing square. And if we weren't going to have a rafter tail or the overhang and needed a plumb cut at the bottom, we could simply position the framing square again to lay out this line on our roof rafter. And if I needed to lay out the cuts for the fascia board support boards, we can simply line the framing square up like this and lay out those marks. And these notches are normally spaced 32 inches apart. However, yours might need to be closer depending upon whether or not the fascia board is going to be larger or the distance from the fascia board might be a little further out or you might be installing heavier roofing materials like roof tile. And if we are going to have a square cut at the end, this one here is a little obvious. We can simply move the framing square to the end and mark the desired distance for the overhang with a 90 degree angle. And if you need the angle for the top of the blocks, then again, we're going to be able to use the framing square for that also. And since I can't think of any other angles you're going to need for your gable roof, Let's go ahead and wrap this video up with the standard. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment area. Or video suggestions for future videos, leave those in the comment area also.